Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the video from the homeowner series. If you guys remember, in the last episode, we actually went out and we um, picked up a towel for the wife. Plus, we looked at some neighborhoods down the road. Well, today we're gonna actually be checking out Mr. Raymond's houses, the owner of SR Auto Group. We're gonna be checking out his multi million dollar mansion. Here's the day off, and he's nice enough to be really allowing us to visit his personal home. So please, if you know the location of his home, do not go over there. It is his home. But yeah, we're gonna be going over there and checking out some homes for sale around the area as well. Because he was telling us about the area of the wilds in this area. And I think we're also gonna be dropping an F-350 off for its 9,000 mark service or something like that. And they just got in a brand new F-2, an F-150. We were talking about it the other day and Somehow these guys got it, I don't know how and what they did to get it, but they got it. And a bit of a heads up, I saw auto peeps, the guys over there really. He's been seeing a lot more people in the area than liking trucks. So he's gonna be getting rid of some of his luxury inventory and bringing in some trucks as well. So don't worry, there's still gonna be the hybrid car in the area, but now he just also sells trucks. So yeah, it should be nice to visit this our auto group again, like we always do. We're gonna park up front. And yeah. So I know that they're trying to change up the showroom. So if you guys see some differences in the showroom, you don't know why. But yeah, let's go in, check out what they got. And yeah. Seems like a lot of the cars didn't really sell, but yeah. I think in the back section he sold a lot of cars. But yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty cool to see all these cool new inventory of an SRI group because I'm pretty sure he's doing pretty well now. Yeah, as you guys can see there's a lot more trucks. And yeah, but that's pretty cool. So these are the new F one fifties. You can help in one. And he is all limited, so he was no way he loves the best of the best, so he actually bought the best ones for his stock. So that's pretty cool. And I think he customized some of these. And then the shop has some new cars. Our car is actually down from the lift today. But yeah. He has this brand new F-150 and it's a 2019. Just got new. So as you can see, that's pretty nice. Coyote engine. That's yeah, a nice FX4 package. I mean, yeah, this is the stuff. I mean, I'm, 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 an, I'm a Ford guy, so I love this thing personally. But yeah, it's sick. They also have the new Trail Boss. So it's a Chevy 1500 Trail Boss LTZ. It's an incredible model. And yeah, it's just a super off-road Chevy right now. And it's pretty cool. I, I want to go test that out one day as well. Oh, hey, look. They also got a Zeta. Yeah, they got a 350 HD, so yeah, maybe we're buying a few of these sick cars. Now, yeah, anyway, this is our ride for the day. We're going to be taking it down by Raymond's Pole. Checking that all out. Yeah. These aren't even his top spec ones, he said. Cause he got a few top spec ones also coming in. This one he said was like his um, medium spec or something. So that's good cool enough. Because he told us this is still the platinum, but like it doesn't have the moon. I mean, it's still the limited, but it doesn't have the moon some features. But it's really cool to start seeing the new F 150s going to be up for sale at the dealership. Because I'm a big fan of these, this lot. I'm not a big fan of the new Raptors, but I'm starting to really dig the F 150, so who knows? Maybe we're going to upgrade for a Raptor, am I right? But yeah, I mean, this is super nice. The new touchscreen interior. It reminds me of the RAM, and I really do love that. So you can tell all the effort Ford's making. I mean, the new sync. I don't know what number Ford's that, but yeah. Like, come on, these guys, they're doing a good job. The full touch screen, I mean, the full LED screen right there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of tech in this thing. A lot of tech.
and just driving this thing, it makes you feel like you're driving a pretty big truck. Like, it's not a small truck. Like, I was worried I was going to be swapping from a pretty big truck to this, and I was I wasn't really gonna like it too much, but it's a good sized truck. I can daily this and be perfectly fine with it. So maybe we're gonna end up needing to purchase one of these as well, just because it's so sick. But we're just about Raymond's home. Oh, whoa, look at some of these homes in there. Yeah. He wasn't joking, he said that there's a few nice homes in there. But this is his. I think I'm gonna wipe something so. So. Oh, wait. Let me check his text. Oh, no, man. Yeah, he said park on the road. Alright, let's lock this thing. There we go. There we go. And yeah, check this out. We're not gonna go in his home. But yeah. Look at his car garage, though. I mean. Raymond has a Tycon, a um, Dawn, and I think this is the wife's car, or I think this is the thing and the wife share this um, Conan. He has a few nice cars, he come out here, he, he has his warehouse. So he's gonna start moving a few of his personal hyper and super cars out here, I know. So I think that was his plan, so he can have a personal collection soon. And yeah, that's pretty cool though. Then they got this incredible backyard. Yeah, you can see the neighbors are a bit nearby. I should not check out those ones. That looks pretty nice to me, but look at this. Oh, there's a for sale sign. Alright, let me check it out. I should ask Raymond, what, what, if, what if we just move into a better home than Raymond right across the street? Oh, pretty cool. I'm not a garage opener. I don't know if that's just for the listing or what, but pretty cool. So I guess it's like the exact same as the house we looked at the other day. So that's pretty cool. But that is a full pond. These guys got a pond and everything. Let's see, get a pond. There's a full garage. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. One day, boys, one day, one day. One day we're gonna move to the the street to the local room. Maybe we'll carpool, test hard and move together every day. I don't know, but yeah, that is a sick home. I'm telling you guys, we are gonna need to purchase a nicer home. And that was pretty nice to be that close for me. And I mean, I feel like you see, because you see the neighbors out here, it's really nice. Like, they don't mind his car, so that'd be good for us. I mean, I've never been to any of those to now, I mean, that's pretty nice, you know? But I think I could live there. But anyway, yeah, I will admit, the F-150 is an incredible car. It has a lot of potential to be an incredible truck, like, I think I could personally daily drive this. I think it's small enough to where the wife would be okay with driving this a bit if she had to. I think, like, I don't know, I feel like it's not too big for a truck, but not too small. And now we're thinking about buying the old Rangers as my new, new daily. Or just for one of the, for one of the sons to drive. Yeah, it wouldn't help. Anyway, yeah, I mean, that's a really cool car right here. I'm really gonna have to consider it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm just gonna head back to the home with the F-150. We'll probably take it back tomorrow or whatever. But I really do want to thank all of you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the post notification button. And I will see you all in the next episode.